good morning today we will start with a new topic ratio let's start with the starter activity identify the fraction i hope you all remember fractions now you need to observe the figures carefully and write the correct fraction on your whiteboard yes the first one is 1 by 2 b what fraction is this correct it's 3 by 6 c yes it's 2 by 4 d it's 4 by 8 the lesson objective is to begin to understand and use ratio to describe simple relationships introduction of ratio a ratio is a comparison of two or more quantities that are related a ratio indicates how many times one number contains another it is a fraction that may compare part to whole or part to part here the ratio of circles to squares is 2 to 3 you can find two circles and three squares so we called it as 2 to 3 or 2 is to 3 or 2 by 3 that is there are two circles for every three squares what is the ratio what is the ratio of boys to girls in the group count the number of boys and girls and find out the ratio there are two boys and three girls so ratio of boys to girls is two boys for every three girls or we can say 2 is to 3 2 to 3 or 2 by 3 we can compare part of something to another part In this row of balls there are two green balls for every three blue balls so the ratio of green balls to blue balls is 2 is to 3 or 2 to 3 or in fraction form we can say it is 2 by 3 we can also compare part of something to the whole there are two green balls out of a total of five balls altogether so the ratio of green balls to total balls equals to 2 is to 5 or 2 to 5 or in fraction form it is 2 by 5 what is the ratio of girls to boys yes it is 3 is to 1 what is the ratio of boys to girls yes it's 1 is to 3 now what is the ratio of girls to whole students it is 3 is to 4 and what is the ratio of boys to whole students it's 1 is to 4 here number of boys are 3 number of girls are 2 and total number of students are 5 so you have to find the ratio of girls to boys it's 2 by 3 2 is to 3 that is two girls for every three boys ratio of boys to girls is 3 is to 2 that is three boys for every two girls ratio of girls to all students or what fraction of the group are girls it is 2 is to 5 that is two girls out of five students find the ratios what is the ratio of red flowers to yellow flowers 
Yes, it is 4 is to 3. What is the ratio of yellow flowers to red flowers? It's 3 is to 4. What fraction of the flowers are red? It's 4 by 7. And what fraction of the flowers are yellow? It's 3 by 7. Write the ratio in three different ways. Books to pens. Write first the ratio of it, then in words and lastly in the form of fraction. The ratio is 6 is to 5. We called it as 6 to 5 and the fraction is 6 by 5. Pumpkins to cabbages. First find the ratio, then words and then fraction. Ratio is 2 is to 7. In words we called it as 2 to 7 and fraction is 2 by 7. Next, snow cones to chocolates. Find the ratio, words and fraction. The ratio is 6 is to 2. In words we say 6 to 2 and the fraction is 6 by 2. Complete each sentence. For every one blue square, there are how many red squares? Correct. There are three red squares. Next. For every three blue squares, there are how many red squares? Yes, there are two red squares. For every two blue squares, there is dash red square. Yes, it's one. Let's summarize the lesson. A ratio is a comparison of two or more quantities that are related. A ratio indicates how many times one number contains another. It is a fraction that may compare part to whole or part to part. Find the ratio of strawberries to bananas. It's 3 is to 2. Find the ratio of bananas to strawberries. It's 2 is to 3. What fraction of fruits are strawberries? It's 3 by 5. Thank you, children.